Hi, so the video I'm making today is something that I've wanted to do for a while and just haven't really had a reason to do yet until now my friend is asking me how to do it, so I guess now is the best time to do it. As you can see, I have a background that moves. So this video is going to be about how to get backgrounds that are actively moving. Um, this is my Skyrim background. I actually just got this one. I have a bunch of different ones. Um, the program that I used to do this, I haven't done immense research on how to do this, or if there's other ways to do it, I should say. I know how to do it, but I don't know if there's other programs that are free. This program to do it, I believe, is $4.99, and it gives you a license, and I've used it on multiple different of my computers, and it's never given me like a license warning or anything. So as far as I know, you can just use this on all your computers. You buy one license, it's for life, $4.99. But instead of just going right into price, I'll actually show you what the program is. So the program is called Deathscapes, and it's by a company called Stardock. Um, this program is awesome. I love an animated background. I think it just, when I turn on my computer and I come in, I, I leave the room while it's booting up, and you know, I come back a few minutes later and I walk in and I see this awesome moving background, it just makes my computer that much cooler for me. Yes, I'm a nerd. I love my computer. Whatever makes my computer cooler, thumbs up. So I'm going to show you how to do this real quick. Oh, so apparently they do have a 30 day trial, so you can, you can trial it. Um, let's see, customize wallpaper. Okay. So you can do a bunch of different things with just the trial version. Um, I don't know exactly what object to desktop is. Um, I haven't really done anything with that. Oh, I'm sorry, it's $9.99. So I just bought Deskscapes, which is the program. It's $9.99. Uh, it's a one-time price. It might have been on sale when I bought it. Um, but the program is you just right-click on your desktop and you do Configure Deskscapes, and it brings up all these different backgrounds. Um, obviously, there's a lot loaded in here that I've never used before. Um, And then you're not going to, I mean, you're not going to have most of these either because there's a lot of these I downloaded. So, I mean, let's see. I know this one comes with it. So this is just one of the backgrounds that you get with the program. A lot of different animation going on. The birds fly. The signs will flash and change colors. Uh, the flowers move. One of my favorite things is the, the woman's red dress flows in the wind. The guy's heads will that will nod. The trees move, and one of the coolest thing is you can actually see her red dress moving in the reflection of the car. I think that's pretty awesome. I think these lights actually flicker back here. Really cool background. A lot of thought went into it. Um, it's just a pretty image, even to be a still image. Um, so there is a lot of different backgrounds that you can get. I mean, I had a I have a Halloween one that I was using for a while. Um, I used this one for a while, but is kind of a little too trippy. It's kind of freaking me out. <laughs> so <laughs> I had to stop using it. Um, this was one of my all time favorites just because I love a good storm. The quality on this one isn't as high as I'd want it to be, at least not up in the clouds. It looks a little bit better on the building, but, um, and the quality on the one I have right now is really, really not amazing. It's not like the best quality I've ever had, but it's a Skyrim background and I love Skyrim. Um, so there's actually different ways you can get these and once you download and install this program You can pick which one you want. Um, it'll actually show a little video symbol I can't highlight it, but it'll show a little video symbol down there in the right corner it keeps disappearing when I put my thing over it um, And then you hit apply to all monitors. I have multiple monitors. That's why it will show ones in here that are stagnant if you apply those It's, it's a stagnant background. It's not gonna not gonna move on you <laughs> so you have to use one of the video ones. Uh, there is a way to actually make your own um, in sorts. I'm not going to go into that today. Not in this video. That might be a separate video. But if you scroll to the bottom here once you install the program, um, download more background from Win Custom. That's that's what you're going to want. Um, it is actually going to pull up a, a web browser and it's pulling up my Facebook stuff now. Um, but I'm going to use Firefox for it. So this is the link it's going to bring you to. 
and you see all the different ones that you can use. This is Win Customize. Um, this website's pretty awesome. It has a lot of different backgrounds. Not everything on here is going to be a moving background necessarily, but nine times out of ten it's a moving background. And usually you can see video preview. Maybe not on this one though. <laughs> okay, we'll try a different one. Um, some of them obviously aren't going to have a video preview. Um, like I said, they're not all moving. This one's got to be moving. Oh, it just doesn't want to load. You know what? I'll pull it up on Chrome. That's fine. All right, so we'll pull up the same exact one. This will work now because Google Chrome's awesome. So you can see the animation before you actually download it, which is, you know, kind of a big deal. You can only download so many. I think it's, uh, I think it's three to five per month off this website. They have a download cap, um, and there's also a subscription you can do on the website to remove the download cap and get special features and blah 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 or you can if you know how to use a VPN and change where your location is and download 30 a month just by changing your location all over the place <laughs> so I mean if you really want to get into it I guess you could do that but usually you just search through here long enough to find one that you really like you choose that maybe choose a couple so you have a couple to choose from and then the next month you can kind of change up from there and I usually go with a little bit of a seasonal vibe to my backgrounds except for the Skyrim one right now because I'm loving the Skyrim one now I know the quality doesn't look awesome right here in this little video but this is just a really scaled down image it'll look a lot better on your desktop but that is Deskscapes um, it's an awesome little tool to have i mean it, it's 9.99 yeah it kind of stinks you have to pay for it but um it just it, it made it just gives my desktop that touch i love it i absolutely love it um and i'm very glad i bought it thanks for watching